This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. <gasps> oh my god, Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Mary of Saint Motherworth, he's risen. Christ has risen again. Father, Father, whatever you need from me, I am your humble bow servant. Bada bing, bada boom. This broad is dumb. <laughs> Let me take advantage of this. Yes, if it is me, God of. Get down there and rub my foot. <laughs> a foot rub? Anything for you, my lord! Yeah, right there, hot stuff. Yeah, take those shoes off. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Add a nun. Add a nun. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, it's me, Nina Bonina Banana for Fan Osama Bin Laden Dragula Spooky Dookie Dookie Boo Brown. And we are back for another raw view of Dragula Titans episode four. Welcome back, uglies. Ooh. Or should I say, welcome back to the love triangle, the love boat. That's what Dragula has become a love boat season. It's all the girls talk about. And as always, we're going to read tips, read comments, and read all those things and beyond. And thank you guys for coming back. Hope you guys are doing okay, doing well, taking care of yourselves. Um, yeah, you know. And as always, if you would like to tip and support, please do. I'm not working for free. I'm not a slave. <laughs> you know, okay, those days are over, okay? Um, <laughs> and I, re I read all the tips and comments, or, or I read all the tips on my UK video. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my voice is leaving. <laughs> I have to go to the dentist at 2.40, y'all, so I got to hurry up and record fast. Um... Let's get to the... Oh, and if you were uncomfortable with that with that intro, sue me. I wanted y'all to feel what I felt when I watched it, too. Yeah. You sure? I'm so mad at Drag Gizmo in the intro. Ha ha. Pfft. I hate how I said ha ha. Your drag is so crazy. I love how you managed to do iconic, instantly recognizable pop cultural references and still make it your own. I mean, that's what I did. Like, you know, when people say, like, oh... You know, when they try to put me in a boat or like, or a category, you can't put me in one. You can say cosplay if you want, but like, I don't, spe I, that's not my specialty. I don't just do that. But when I do do a character that's well known, I make it my own, as you say. So thank you for noticing that. Okay, Dragula really doesn't know what it is. I liked the first season, then it turned into Fear Factor with drag, full of boring gimmicks. And now it's a soap opera. They need to make up their minds before they destroy the brand show. And he had a lot of effing nerve chiding that's how they say it chiding a contestant for a mail order costume maybe he meant like reading or whatever like when he when he came for um eva for ordering her outfit um when they can't even decide what the show is supposed to be from season to season i think everyone said that they loved when i reacted to the um fans sending their halloween looks and i judged them i may start doing that i don't know if i want to do it on here or like a drag race video where I have a few people sending, like, you know, maybe their makeup looks, whatever, and I can, like, read them for filth, you know, but also give them some constructive criticism in my own kind of way. So do not send your stuff in if, you have, if you're sensitive, because I might hurt your feelings. <laughs> That's my specialty, hurting others, apparently. Um, let's see. So Hozo has a partner back at home where she hooks up with Astrid. And Abora feels sad and jealous because of Hozo's relationship with Astrid. It's that relationship, quote unquote. That makes no sense. Since Hozo is not exclusive of anyone, I mean, some people's minds just drive me nuts. Also, I don't mean to judge anybody, but open relationships are clearly a mess. I feel the same way. I know to each his own, you shouldn't judge, but I'm judging you. 
<laughs> hell y'all judge people all the time every day when y'all get on social media yeah i am open relationships it's not my thing either i think it's very selfish i think you want to have your cake and eat it too you you just it, it, it's you, you you just really can't commit to one person you know it's like it's like i don't want to say i'm cheating so i want to have somebody else too like that's what it gives me but hey to each his own if it makes you happy go for it <laughs> what do i know i'm single and poor dragula is giving philippines the episodes were, were good but they were too long and i skipped most of it <laughs> true not melissa hanging out at high school graduations for her next boyfriend <laughs> the petty <laughs> okay that's it let's go ahead and i'm gonna watch what i can watch and um get to the show boo I'm fucking pissed. i forgot that's how it left off <laughs> oh when she walked back in that door at the door the winner of the Boulay brothers dragula titans will i've noticed they don't have their intros anymore i think i'm just i'm just like four episodes i'm like wait where's the where's the intro did they get the memo? <laughs> Girl, what in Freddy Krueger goes to the gym? <laughs> so who out of Kendra and a boy? Girl, and why is Eva dressed like she's about to go sacrifice a lamb? This stuff is evil. Oh my God, why did I do it? I like Hozo's eyeshadow with this look. When I tell you, <laughs> if Hozo was a transition, all they would need is one pill, that's it. <laughs> I'm feeling like the toxicity is so much and it's affecting every Not one person is messing up the whole competition for y'all. Girl, y'all kill me with that. Nobody has that much power, about that, that power, girls. <laughs> if you're there for the competition, then focus on the competition. Like, nobody's making you feel that kind of way. Cookies! Hello. Oh. She's black. No one's happy to see me. I'm back. No. <laughs> exactly. That's what I would give. I'm here. Hey, girls. Hey, sisters. Hey, besties. Hey, pals. We just, nobody wants you around anymore because you. Oh, my God. Y'all still making it worse. Nobody wants you around anymore. <laughs> it's all you. It's just you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't that I've had a heavy pattern of drinking, so. Oh Lord, now it's the drinking. <laughs> oh my God, what are you apologizing for a girl? Maybe I'm just not seeing everything because they're not recording everything. That trust can be very, very difficult to rebuild and it's gonna take. Okay, so y'all, see she's saying, I'm gonna try and do this, but then y'all saying, well, you have to show actions. But then you're also saying, well, our trust is gone and it's gonna be really hard to build. Girl, I wouldn't even work that hard to rebuild y'all trust. Like, girl, bye. <laughs> anyway, what's the challenge? Okay, cool. I don't think it's fair that I'm the only one who has to work on my attitude, but I'll do it. Oh my it's not fair, exactly. So why are you doing it? <laughs> you have another thing coming. I could give two shits about your apology. Well, at least Melissa's being real, I guess. We're going to teleport your drag characters to a realm of sword. They're doing an underdog challenge, Dungeons and Drag Queens. I think they did, they did this before, something like this. Oh lord, this is for the nerds. The nerds! It's fair village. Oh, yes. 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 Down in the renaissance fair. How many of y'all actually been to a renaissance fair? <coughs> I remember going to one in elementary. I think those days... Who was my teacher? Barney Rubbles? Um, <coughs> oh, Pebbles was in my class. And we used to have to, like, in order to get to school, we had to get in the bus and run with our feet to get to school. Anyway, good times. But um, we went to the Renaissance Fair, and it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Like, it was, like, when I was younger, it was fun. Like, from what I remember, it was, like, of course, the whole, like, medieval theme and all that kind of stuff. And the rides they had there were like man-made rides where they, they were like people holding on ropes and pulling the ride up and down and stuff like that. And it had a lot of cool things to buy, like a lot of dragon eggs and stuff. But of course, I didn't have the money to buy anything. <laughs> and I remember they had a big old like turkey roast legs and the like the old time sandwiches with all the Brussels sprouts. 
uh, I want to go again. Like every time I say every year, I'm gonna go, to, I'm, I'm gonna go and, and never go. I just hope I will have fun like I like I did when I was younger. But maybe I didn't know any better. Your dark maze. The what? <laughs> Same way. <laughs> human palette. Okay. What? what? Human what? I'm so lost. What? For this bright feet, you will. I keep thinking they're saying fright feet. I'm like, what? Why are the feet frightful? To pull the other team into a moat of blood. <laughs> That's cool. Tug of gore. But we all know it's just Kool-Aid that, that they're going to fall into. Shit eating grin on her face and I look. Ew. <laughs> Eva's so extra hot she's taking that shirt off. <laughs> what kind of ballerina pose? Look at my body. Yeah. Come on, come on. Dang y'all weak. <laughs> And Hozo sitting down doing it. <laughs> I don't know why this is giving me, um, what's that show? Where well, them Asian folk were playing hide and go seek with that Asian little girl. And she was saying, stop, red light, green light. And if they didn't stop, the kind of got shot to death. What that show be called? What that show been called? Y'all know that show? It was called some Squid Game. Thank you. Girl, I cannot. <laughs> I blame Hosa. <laughs> but secretly, these challenges are a little pointless. <laughs> In a way, it's just like, okay. Like, what is... <laughs> after that, what happens? Like, what, is, what does it do? Like, okay. I mean, it's fun to watch, but it's like, okay. And they get the lovely power to be able to decide who gets which challenge. Oh, okay, because they won. The other team, they can choose who gets which, which roles and scripts. Okay, got it now. English is my second language, so I think I'm going to have a hard time getting those words to Yeah. Oh, now it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't had no issue calling them, saying them other words to, to Abora. Mm -hmm. Classes has different specializations. Like, for example, the rogue can go into either. Like, yeah, I would have zoned out too. <laughs> like, yeah, this is not my kind of thing. D &D. So I've been in multiple D&D &D campaigns. Dang, he's happy. <laughs> what the fuck is a thespian? Feeder lesbian? I don't fucking know. <laughs> exactly. I see her doodle hole. I think now I know the reason why theater gays are hated across the universe. I'm doing. Hazel does not see it for the for, for the theater gays. <laughs> well, she is single now. I think I'm very respectful to you, but I think uh, what you said to me was something about Melissa's face is so evil to me. <laughs> but I think she's being sincere. I think. I hope. I'm mad they are, they are legit getting ready outside of the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> if y'all don't put them queens inside a building with some good lighting. I mean, they keep showing Eva like as if the makeup is progressing, but nothing has changed. <laughs> like, okay, it's, it's still the eyes. <laughs> They're acting. No, they have a still. They they still have four more hours. <laughs> okay, I'm trying. I'm trying to wait for a perfect image so I can really look at them. And it's <laughs> like okay. Um, I as far as the outfit goes, I feel like it could be more. As far as the outfit, I feel like it's just like too simple. The best part is the headpiece. I'm gonna buy the headpiece, but the outfit, not so much. The best on-screen performance will be awarded all the trips. I'm just noticing that the taller one kind of sounds like the guy from the commercial with red eye. Red eye, dry eye, contact solution for your dry eyes. Here on Red Eye, we are not here to judge your eyes. What we are here to judge you for are your dry eyes. Well, I don't know about God. I'm pretty demonic, but you're welcome. <laughs> now she's proud about that. You don't know about God? <laughs> oh, Jesus help them. <laughs> I like Erica's look. From what I can see. <laughs> At least we're in the daytime. Just <laughs> it's cute. I'm going to buy this look. I mean, the makeup could use some more definition. <laughs> it's very flat. It is. It's very flat. There's no life to the face. But it's still cute because it's, it's giving me like some kind of like cartoon or something. And also kudos on wearing those contacts. When I tell you Scalera contacts are the devil, like I can wear the mini ones just fine. 
But when it comes to the whole Scalera, because I wasted money on about three pairs. Like, literally, like, they, maybe maybe because people's eyes are different, if, I may have to get mine specially made, but the ones I just buy from, like, whatever, online, it is horrible. I blink, they come out, it's uncomfortable, it never feels good at all. And it's sad, because I want to have some big, some big old contact. This is cute. I mean, the makeup could be better, in my opinion. But I'm getting like Renaissance kind of something magical thing going on. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to buy this. I think I kind of like it. It's, it, it's, it's whimsical. I'm being nice today. I must not have my thyroid medicine. Oh, I love the shoes. I didn't even notice the shoes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wish it was more body. I think more body would have really sold this completely. I'm gonna rent this, but I love the face because the face looks it's creepy, but it's also whimsical at the same time. Like she looks like like I wouldn't trust her. Like you would think she's probably like a nice like a nice whimsical fairy woman, but she's really evil. Like <laughs> I see it. I definitely like this floor show better. This is giving me more so Pirates of the Caribbean tees, though, versus, like, Renaissance, in my opinion. I'm going to rent it, though. I mean, it's, it's not a bad look. I'm going to rent this. This look, I have to say, I don't... I don't know. It's a, this, one, like, this one looks like a literal costume. And then, not only that, I don't like the makeup. Yeah, like, I, I feel like it's like... It's like a literal, like, it's like literal contour, a literal, like, it looks like, I don't know. Like, maybe it reads better, maybe in pictures and stuff. Like, I expect better from Eva. And, um, plus, it's so funny, she has, like, all this makeup on and stuff, but I just still see Eva. I don't see, like, a transformation, if that makes sense. You know, and and, and it's only because I, I know Eva can do better. It's giving Michael Jackson at the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> <laughs> okay my favorite part of this look is the hair I love the hair I love the ponytail it is giving me like some kind of renaissance kind of thing y'all know it's the same makeup but I'm not that mad at it um, so I'm, but I'm, I'm gonna buy the look though I'm gonna buy it this look I feel like it's so much going on that I can barely see as far as like, it's a lot going on. It's a lot. But I do love the big old, you know, big old axe, um, barbarian woman. I'm going to rent this. Like, I'm going to rent it. Like, it's a lot for my eyes to look at, but I'm going to rent it. <laughs> I hate, hate, hate the feet. But I get it, though. But I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't mean for that hair to be stuck on her lips. <laughs> okay, Melissa. See, out of between Melissa's and Coco's, I like Coco's better. This is a little too... Uh, it's a little... It's okay. I'm, like, I'm not going to buy or rent this one. It doesn't really excite me at all. Where are we? What is this? I think they're doing that thing called acting. No, you not know what this is? This is <laughs> I hated that. No, you not know what this is? No, you not? <laughs> but how? What, what wicked enchantment brought us here? Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> Somehow the acting is worse than Drag Race. <laughs> the acting is really giving me... I'm going to show y'all the clip. Those of y'all that are control to... Oh my god. She's eating them. And then she's gonna eat me. Ah! They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. Oh my god! <laughs> I hate it. Certainly we didn't drink that much of the time. As hell, we must try. And we must try together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is oh, it's horrible. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. Oh my goodness. And I said, how do you not know we were merely brought here by a curse? I kind of bought that from Victoria. <laughs> and her face is so serious. Now, no. That's what we should fend for our And can they cut the music down some? It's kind of it's kind of overpowering them. Like, I mean, maybe which is a good thing, but still. Oh shit. Oh, goddamn. Where's the blood, though? Not what I had to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not pushing them back and then getting a bucket of blood and throwing it on the wall. <laughs> what dangers lurk within this labyrinth? Or but this is already better so far. I don't recall electing a leader. Let's okay, I'm buying them. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was going good. <laughs> Truth. When I tell you these days, the girls do not care about hiding their breastplate lines or nothing, girl. They're just like, yeah, I'm a man. You see it, right? <laughs> Run, we are two if moving. Get to need we. Okay, now, Eva, that, that wasn't a good line. <laughs> Maybe it's the, the line, but that delivery was... I didn't buy it. We are not in. Right there. Girl, what in the Ebonics is going on? But how? Sometimes select a curse. Okay, about that. You got it. About that. That, but how? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I, I bought it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I started to feel how hot it was. Or is she acting? She's like, just so I don't be in the bottom. Let's make sure. <laughs> I think Eva just got into her head. She made this a very important challenge. Talking. But had that had been you, Abora, would he have been calling you a diva and saying, "Oh my God, you're being so naked." Uh huh. My inner saboteur kicks in, you know, and all that. Time. Just when I tell y'all that is Eva for sure, for sure, that is Eva. That, that's the Eva. <laughs> that's Eva. So to me, it seems strange to go on location like that and complain the whole. Time. Took that out. I mean, if it's hot, it's hot. Sorry about it. Team in a different group, she could have really excelled and placed very high in this chat. Not y'all blaming the group. How about her acting? It was horrible. Like no shade, it was really bad. Like. <laughs> and so focus on the competition that they're losing sight of. But then if she was having too much fun, then y'all would have said she's not focused enough on the competition. <laughs> We're sending you home because you're too focused on the competition and winning. We cast, and I don't want to give any of them negative critiques. I'll tell my friends and stuff. Sorry, I'm being too kind. S associates, that I don't mind watching like the Bully Brothers like do their like their critiquing and their speaking and stuff. Like when I see like when it's like RuPaul and them doing their whole judging by themselves, I fast forward it. Like, I used to watch it, but now no, I can't. But like, I don't mind watching them. Dungeons and Drag Queens challenge, as always. Dang, they were right. Erica does look grumpy. Oso <laughs> and Coco. <laughs> So the group with Hozo, Abora, Eva, and Coco, they won. And then they should, because they did the best. You became a different person. Oh my god, Erica really is... <laughs> Erica is really not good at hiding her emotions at all. Like, she really looks like she is mad at something, for real. Okay. Yeah. Well, Coco won. Okay. Look whose team won the acting challenge. Girl, Eva swore she's the one that made the win. <laughs> you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. That was a great job. Am I in a, am I in the Twilight Zone? <laughs> it's like, are y'all just making up stuff because y'all want to send Erica home? Like, <laughs> I okay. You were a liability to your team because almost every. Well, that'd be horrible to hear that you was a liability. Oh. Girl. Let's talk about Erica. Honestly, I was just really <laughs> conflicted. Because... <laughs> Poor Erica. <laughs> she must already know. Like, I think she already knows. Like, girl, they're getting rid of me. I can. Somebody saying on Twitter, try Twitch. How can she have fun talking about Erica in an experience where she's hot and in a room full of people who constantly read her drag from day one? And also... I'm tired of me posting my paper looks and people always saying, Nina did it first. When will my time come? Anyway, besides the last part, 
I mean, true. If people are constantly coming for you, it's like, how can you have fun? Not sure if my camera stopped recording, but or where it stopped recording, but it's showing Astrid explaining who she or who she is, whatever. <laughs> Astrid doesn't mean any harm, but she's that kind of person that kind of just like over, like maybe over explain stuff, and you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> But they don't mean any harm, though. Mode. I mean, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> like, in words, we're trying to direct the director. Oh which no, is never really a good thing. Yeah, I, I have a. <laughs> oh, this is so messy. Not. <laughs> somebody just said, "Imagine Astrid, somebody asking, does the sex feel good?" And she's like. Oh uh, yeah, I mean the sex feels good. Like it feels like like somebody's inside of you, and like they're like touching all of your insides, and like going from the left to the right, and making things feel good in a spiritual way. In the way you were inside of my, um, excuse you, better lack for words, my hole, and it made everything just feel good. Like it was tight, and it felt loose at the same time, and it didn't hurt. Um, and I really just I I liked it pretty much. Is, is, is what I'm saying is that I liked it honestly. <laughs> Acting's not her strong suit because acting is just. <laughs> I'm like, wait, is Abora having her bag or is she reading her? Only chance to get Victoria out of the competition and that very... <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she's being honest. Bitch, take this opportunity and fucking like, bitch... Wait. They love saying stuff like this, but it feels the other way around. I don't want to go home. No, no. Really put a fire under my ass, so... Is that why I smell burnt bologna? Put it acting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Here next week. It's been amazing. And you, we are never going to... Oh. I'm just thinking, I might be going home. I didn't think this could happen. Yeah, we know you're not going home. They could have they, they just cut all this and just sent Erica home. <laughs> More to show, and I'm not stopping. Yeah, that back tattoo is sickening. Like, I'm not a tattoo person, but that's sickening. We've given your gnomes something to be happy about. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> We've given you, your gnome, something to be happy about. Well, she's gone. Well, it's over. Oh. <laughs> I, I I kind of enjoyed this episode for the most part. I I, I did. wasn't too bad. Um, we didn't have to hear about the love triangle that much either, so that's good. What did you guys think? Did y'all guys enjoy this episode? Did y'all think the right person went home? You know, as always, keep it cute in the comment section. But let me know how you feel. And thank y'all for watching. So yeah, see you next time. Remember to stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kamochi. Bye.